Today, a group of Democratic lawmakers proposed new legislation that would require airlines to offer refunds to all passengers during this pandemic. Our tenders reporter Jennifer Castor spoke to a local travel agent who's been dealing with frustrated travelers for weeks now. 25,000 traveler complaints, many over refunds, have poured in over the last two months. That's according to new information this week from the Department of Transportation. For clients, it's been very frustrating. Dorotea Brunetto, who owns Blossom Valley Travel in East County, has been slammed with trip changes and cancellations for her clients and says many airlines are avoiding giving cash back. Now they're really sticking to the vouchers versus giving a refund. This Wednesday, Democratic lawmakers, including California Senator Kamala Harris, introduced the Cash Refunds for Coronavirus Cancellations Act of 2020. Airlines have traditionally been required to issue refunds to travelers whose flights are canceled, but it hasn't applied to travelers who cancel their own flights. Those passengers often only get credits or vouchers for future travel. The new legislation seeks to change that for travelers who've had to forego trips amid safety concerns and stay at home orders during the pandemic. Bernetto says some airlines have been cooperative, others not so much. Some of her senior clients worry they may not be in good enough health to travel a year or two from now. If they're over a certain age, they should get their money back and forget the voucher. And when they're ready to travel, let them travel on their own, you know, whatever, with the brand new slate. She says clients are reluctant to book travel until 2021 because there's still so much that's unknown. I mean, who wants to spend hundreds, thousands of dollars on a trip? They, it's going to be shut down and they're going to be dealing with all these repercussions. Also this week, transportation officials put out a second direct warning to airlines to issue refunds for canceled flights during the COVID-19 crisis. Jennifer Kastner, 10 News.